The new Lenovo Yoga 2 tablet with Windows looks to bring any pen technology to the masses. We're going to show you what it's all about and whether it's worth your time and money. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Central and today we're taking a look at the Yoga Tablet 2 with Windows, the 8 inch version. It's just hitting the market now. We ordered ours directly from Lenovo, although Best Buy is supposed to carry it as well. It runs for $250. Uh, it's an interesting 8 inch tablet. Now this has been on Android for a while already, but now it's coming with Windows and a little secret called AnyPen. So you may have seen this out on our CES coverage, but AnyPen basically lets you use any object that's somewhat sharp, not even have to be sharp, on the display for writing, taking notes, doing whatever. It's got a very sensitive display is basically the message there. But you may have seen the demos. Uh, it was kind of gimmicky with carrots and knives and all sorts of stuff on this display. It's a glass display, so presumably um, you can scratch it, but it's not very, uh, it's not like plastic, You so you can jab it with a fork. But anyway, uh, the tablet itself looks really nice. Like I said, it's $250. Uh, you do get some pretty good specs here on the back. I got two stickers apparently, uh, but you're getting a uh, quad-core Intel Atom processor, pretty standard, 1.8 gigahertz in there. It's an 8-inch display, of course, but it's a 1920 by 1200 IPS display, and that's actually a pretty high resolution for an 8-inch tablet. And Lenovo's been pretty good with their tablets lately in terms of displays. You get 2 gigs of RAM, which, you know, for a tablet is actually pretty decent. Some tablets only do one. 2 gigs, though, is the sweet spot for Windows. Uh, if this was a bigger tablet, you know, 10 or 13-inch, you may want to hedge there and get to see if there's more RAM available, but I think 2 gigs is fine for what this device is designed for. 32 gigs of internal storage. Of course, there's micro SD card built into this, uh, so or micro SD card slot, I should say. So you can expand that memory, of course. It should be up to 64 gigs, but you could probably throw 128 in there as well as I've never seen an issue with that. You do get, uh, you know, your Bluetooth uh, 4.0, Wi-Fi, and all that kind of stuff. It's Windows 8.1 with Bing. I believe it's only a 32-bit version of Windows, of course, where this is uh, could be a 64-bit processor, but, you know, that's uh, just one of those trade-offs because that SKU for Windows is pretty cheap. And at $250, it's actually not a badly priced tablet for what it is. Uh, now, let's take a look on the inside here and see what we got. Uh, it looks like they're giving us a nice little screen cloth to, uh, to wipe things down, which is pretty good. And then here's the tablet itself. Now what I really like besides the display technology and this, the AnyPen stuff, is the uh, the way the battery compartment designed. And I'm gonna slide this out here and kind of show you what I'm talking about. So this is the the actual design of it and you know how it's going to look. Um, and this is a big battery compartment here. You're supposed to be able to get up to 15 hours of battery life. Uh, now we'll have to see if that's actually the case. But Lenovo's been pretty decent with putting in chunky batteries into these things because of this design. This design also allows them, of course, to add this kickstand in here, which is really why they call these the Yogas, because they can transform. So of course you can prop it up that way and just lean the uh, tablet up, but you can also lock into position, use it this way, and it acts like with the uh, on-screen keyboard, you can actually type, which is kind of neat. Um, you can also fold it out completely and with this hole now you can hang it up on a wall. Now that seems like a little gimmicky uh, how often you're going to use that. That's true but obviously the hole doesn't take away anything from the tablet itself so why not but they argued that like if you're in your garage and we're fighting using instructions it, there's places you could basically use this maybe in your kitchen you will hang it up out of the way you know so um, you know I don't know if I'll actually use it but it doesn't hurt to have it. Over here, you got an 8 megapixel rear camera, which is actually pretty decent for a tablet of this size. There should also be a front facing camera on here. I believe it's uh, right here, 1.2 megapixels. A little oddly placed. It's not quite the Dell XPS where it puts it down here, but uh, obviously we're mostly used to it there. However, if you do hold it like this way, um, you know, it should actually be pretty nice. And that's what I actually like about this battery compartment too. Besides the sand, the stand stuff is when you hold it this way, it's actually a nice grip. Uh, if you can imagine using this orientation for say an e-reader, uh, this becomes a very interesting tablet for, I would say longer durations. I think one issue I have with tablets is when you, they're so thin sometimes that when you hold them this way for long periods of time, it's not very comfortable, but this actually gives you something for your hand to grip around. And it actually does feel really nice. Uh, what's also cool too is uh, two front facing speakers. Um, 
You know, speakers and tablets are always hit and miss. They're supposed to be Dolby quality. We'll, of course, test it out later and see how they are. But the fact that they're front-facing uh, is definitely kind of nice. You can see, even if I was holding it this way, I would still get the benefit of those speakers being out in front. And, of course, if you prop it up and are watching a movie on it using the stand, you get that nice sound coming at you with the true stereo effect. And, you know, that actually does make a big difference. I've been really glad to see OEMs taking a little bit more care about speaker placement these days. Uh, let's go into the rest of it here. This is my Office 365 um, license. <laughs> I got the key on the front, so I'm not going to show you that. But uh, yeah, you get uh, Office 365 for a single uh, user for one year. So that's kind of cool. I'm not sure how useful it is on an 8 inch tablet, but if you toss in a Bluetooth keyboard, this obviously becomes a pretty powerful device. Don't forget it is running full Windows. Inside here, it looks like nothing too exciting. We've got more instructions, quick start guide stuff, which is pretty usual. And then you got your plugs, so you can turn it on and charge it. And in case you're wondering, it is a micro USB uh, adapter, so that's pretty good. So if you use a cell phone, you can just plug this in directly and charge it that way. Um, no, nothing proprietary, which is nice. And I believe this is just going to be the um, the wall wart which I think is a terrible name for such things, but uh, there you go. So you can plug it in directly, uh, standard Lenovo part. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go uh, set this up, boot it up, and we'll come back and I'll just give you a quick tour of the OS. And after I spend a couple minutes with it, we'll see what it's all about. Hey everybody, and I'm back here with the Yoga Tablet 2 uh, 8 inch. It's a uh, very interesting device. Like I said, it goes for 250 bucks. It's on sale now. And so I just want to go over some uh, aspects of it that I've been uh, experiencing with for the last about half hour. So now when I did do all the OS updates, which took a long time, so Atom processors aren't the fastest out there, but uh, most of you will be able to do that and just go to bed and worry about it in the morning. But I really do like the design of this. Like I said, uh, the big battery on the side makes it really nice if you want to hold it in this orientation. It just feels really comfortable. Um, it's great for reading and just checking email and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, as you might have also seen when I started the video, I had it this way. It's a little bit angled, but of course you can um, you know, throw up the kickstand, uh, which can be a little bit tricky to bring up, but you can force it that way. Let's see if I can get back to the screen here. And now it basically props up. And I've used this like this a little bit too. So you can actually use the on-screen keyboard and sort of type like this, which is actually kind of nice. It's still small. So you're even I, I type full fingered, but this is when I'm still hunting pet with my uh, index fingers. So you won't be able to do a full uh, keyboard experience, but still it's kind of cool. It's a neat experience with it. Audio quality with these two speakers is really good. It, um, obviously it's going to be a little bit more on the highs and the lows. There's no subwoofer obviously in this, but as far as an eight inch tablet, it goes, I would definitely rate this as a higher than uh, or better than usual tablet for audio. I just I was really impressed with it. It's great for music, great for media, which is what this tablet is geared for. This is a consumer tablet. And what I want to actually emphasize here is this thing here. Uh, this is, of course, a digital pen, stylus, whatever you want to call it. Um, it does not come with one of these, which may be surprising to some of you because of the AnyPen technology. And yet this thing doesn't even come with a pen. And the reason for that, this isn't a Wacom type display. So this um, isn't really meant for using a stylus on in the traditional sense, more like the Toshiba Encore 2 Write, which is also a brand new tablet that's out in the market. Uh, I re uh, did a video on this recently. This one is for this pen here. It goes together. It's a new Wacom type display. It's actually very accurate. So if you're into handwriting and taking down notes and want that real like digital pen feel, this is the tablet you want. And now it's also 350 bucks, but that's what that extra hundred dollars is going for. Uh, you can, so what is any pen? Any pen is kind of interesting. It's not, like I said, a Wacom type pen or even Intrig, uh, like what's on the Surface Pro 3. Uh, instead, it just means you can basically use this to launch stuff and you can use it for a thing. So I have it here on pen mode on OneNote and yes, I can draw on it, but it doesn't really have the palm rejection stuff as you can maybe see, sometimes I do marks there. So you sort of have to hold your hand over it. Um, you know, it's pretty good. It's supposed to be more sensitive than say, a uh, traditional touch screen. And so that's where the AnyPen stuff comes in. But you won't be able to use this as like a full on handwriting recognition uh, tablet. I mean, you kind of can. Um, let me go into an email here. I can switch the keyboard. And let's see, this, 
is a test. And it's not bad, uh, you know, it works. Of course that word is wrong, but um, you can do this and it, it's definitely doable and it's, it's actually really impressive. I just wanna put this into perspective that it's not gonna be as good as like the Toshiba Encore 2. If that's what you really are looking for, that's gonna be that tablet. This is more like a consumer facing, uh, consumer oriented tablet that can also do the writing stuff. Uh, which is good. It's nice. It's also a very durable glass screen on here. And so, uh, you know, I just want to keep that in perspective for you guys if you're concerned about buying this tablet. Uh, it is, you know, $100 cheaper. At $250, it's actually really good. But this is really nice if you want to play movies on here. Obviously, that 1900 uh, by 1200 display on here just will look really good. The colors are great on it. It supposedly gets 15 hours of battery life. I find that a little difficult to believe, but even if this gets 10 hours, that's obviously still very good. And of course, this kickstand on the back uh, is also really nice. Speaking of, let me show you, some of you guys I know are gonna be interested about that micro SD, just so you know I'm not lying. It does go back there, so that's where you can pop that in. And you probably will wanna get a micro SD because although this has, um, 32 gigs of storage, your actual availability is about 17 gigs. So you're losing a lot to the operating system on there. So you'll probably want to add the micro SD just for your movies and media on there. But you know, that's totally up to you. In terms of build quality, it's definitely really, really good. I'm really impressed with the quality of it. It just, it weighs just under a pound, by the way. So it's about 0 0.9 pounds, I believe. And so it's a little on the denser side of a tablet, mostly because it's giant battery, 6,400 milliamp. But, um, Pretty good. Now, you also notice it doesn't have a Windows key on it, so that's kind of interesting. It actually does have a hardware Windows key here on the side, so you can then uh, switch your menus around and use that. It's, it's not a bad option. I'm not sure I would use it a lot, but they did put that there at least. This is the power button, which is uh, pretty good. And then you got your volume rocker up there. The camera is actually pretty decent. It's an, like I said, eight megapixel F2.2 aperture BSI sensor, so it works well in low light. Um, you know. I don't think it'll be as good as say your cell phone, but it's actually a really good camera. Um, and it's definitely pretty decent. The front facing camera also pretty good. If you're gonna be using it for Skype calls, uh, I think it will definitely be adequate. But um, overall, it's a nice tablet, but I think it's more orientated for a consumer. Uh, you know, if you wanna play media, movies, and you wanna interact with stuff, the display is great on it. If you're looking for a note taking one, you know, like I said, I think the Toshiba Encore 2 Write is definitely going to be the tablet you want. Uh, in terms of bloatware, by the way, I'm happy to report there's barely any actually. You do have this Yoga Tablet 2 demo and their share app. Of course, both of those are removable. And then typically you have the Office 365 also removable. And actually that's it. That's all that's on here for Lenovo stuff. Uh, you don't have to worry about any of their uh, spyware stuff that they're working with, the adware uh, that's not on here. And it's actually pretty lean in terms of what they comes pre-installed. The rest is just Microsoft stuff, which of course is also removable. But there you go, quick tour of the Yoga 2 tablet, eight inch, available now. You can get it at Lenovo, you should be going to Best Buy too. Like I said, it's about 250 bucks. I think it's a pretty good tablet if you just want something for consumers, uh, consuming stuff. Stuff. I think it makes a great reader. Uh, you know, I'd love to throw a Kindle app on this and give it a go. But um, there you go. Head to Windows Central for more information. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll try to answer them. And tell us what you think. Take care, everybody.